Hi guys, so sorry if I look a complete and utter mess today. Um, it's my last day of my holidays, um, unfortunately, unlike some of you English people in England, um, I don't get as long off as you do. I, I get, I've had from about the 28th of March till tomorrow, whereas you guys get another week. So, um, yeah, so I have to go back tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, all I'm doing today is revision, um, and I've got a really bad pain in my hip, so, um, I think I must have fell on it in the night, or whatever, or sat on it awkwardly, or whatever, so I'm just really chilling out. So today, I'm going to be doing a video, <laughs> this is especially for Evie, called 10 Facts About Natalie Lowe. Now, Natalie Lowe was, um, is, sorry, is... Evie's favourite, um, favourite ever professional and Strictly and her idol and um, I will say, I, I, I'm, I'm going to do this facts video but I'm going to say that you're probably going to know them all Evie, I'm really sorry, you're probably going to know all of them and it's not that I haven't tried or anything but the reason why, with the judges I was able to get ones that barely anybody knew because Number one, I've been supporting them for a really, really long time. Um, and number two, um, they are my idols. And number three, I've also read quite a few of their autobiographies, which also helps. Uh, with Natalie, I haven't read her an autobiography. Um, and yeah, so I'm. these might be pretty obvious facts. But here we go. I hope that you might not know some of them, but I, I, I think you will. Okay. So, here we go. Number one. She met her husband, James Nibbs, on a train to London. Uh, yeah. She was on a train to London and that's how she met her husband, um, who she married about three months ago, I think it was. Number two. She started uh, dancing age five. Um, she took up ballroom lessons when she was five years old. Um, and and it was because um, number three was going to be um, she began because she um, watched her old siblings her sister and her brother dancing and so decided to take up decided to take up the um, the um, sport and the art herself. Number four, she's one point seven seven meters tall. Now. Don't ask me how tall that is. I'm guessing it's something like, well, put it this way, I'm I'm um five foot three, although I don't look at I'm really short. I'm five foot three and I'm one point five eight meters, which is um uh, um five foot is one point fifty uh, one hundred and fifty centimetres. 152.5 is 5 foot 1, 155 is 5 foot 2, 157.5 is 5 foot 3, so that makes me just over 5 foot 3, 160 is four, uh, 5 foot 4, 62.5 5 foot 5, 65 5 foot 7, I think, 67.5 5 foot 8, 70, 5 foot 9, 72.5, 5, 5 foot 10, she's about 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11, I really don't know my math skills and I think I got dreadfully mixed up there, but I'd put her as around, I'm sure I read somewhere that she's 5 foot 10, I'll go look in my annual, I'll go look in my annual to see if it says that, it doesn't say in my annual but I'd put her at around, well, she wasn't that much shorter than Greg Rutherford, and he, and it said that he's six foot two, so I'd say she's about five foot ten, maybe about the same height as Len, who was six foot, five foot, five foot nine, five foot ten, I'd say she's about five nine, five ten, but I'm not sure. I, can I just remind you, I got 1 out of 33 in my last math test, so don't blame me. Okay, number 5, and sorry I had to do this being a judges fan, I had to say this. 
when they were talking about lens replacement, her first choice was Anton. However, she said she couldn't have been happier with Shirley. Sorry, I had to do that. I love the judges so much, I just had to say that. And it was Natalie related, so yeah. <laughs> Number six, um, she was born in Sydney. Pretty obvious one, but she was born in Sydney um, in... She's 37, 38. And she was born um, in August, so yeah. Okay, number seven. <laughs> she is a massive Ollie Murs fan. Now, I know this because in week four of 2016, which happened to be her final series, Boo, um, she uh, was partnered with Greg Rutherford and they were dancing to Wrapped Up, which is one of Ollie Murs' songs. You got me wrapped up around your finger. I do anything for your love now, and if you touch it, uh, the feeling lingers. Uh, you got me up so high I can't come down. That was terrible, but yeah. Um, and um, Ollie came to visit them in training, and she was so happy about it, and she was jumping around and really happy. Apparently, she's a massive Bonnie Murphy fan. Number eight, sorry, I had to do this one. She is four times Australian ballroom champion. Um, and then she um, obviously moved to England to pursue Strictly. Number nine, she appeared on Dancing with the Stars Australia. Dancing with the Stars Australia. They have, they have quite a few versions. They have Strictly Come Dancing, which is England. They used to have a version of, um, they used to have a version of um, it over here in Spain, which was something like Then I Buy Lad or something like that. Um, it, it doesn't air anymore, it ends in like 2007. Then in, um, where, then in Italy they have something like Bailando con el Estrel or something like that, which is Dancing with the Stars Italy. They have Dancing with the Stars New Zealand because Craig did that for several series along with Brendan Cole. Boo, I don't like Brendan Cole. I don't think I've ever mentioned that, have I? But I hate Brendan Cole. No? Okay. Um, and um, there's Dancing with the Stars Australia, which Natalie appeared on for. Uh, from 2004 to 2008, and then in 2009 she pursued a Strictly Come Dancing career. And she was on in 2009 with Ricky Whittle, who I believe should have won that series. 2010 with, oh god, who was she with in 2010? I know she was with in 2011, 2010 I can't remember, it will come to me. 2011 she was with, um, thinking with Jiggy Bob, um, Audley Harrison. 2012 she was with Michael Vaughan. 2013, oh god, I've got back my next one. 2014, um, Tim Wanacott, 2015 Audley Harris, Audley Harrison, Ainsley Harriet more like, and 2016 um, Greg Rutherford, and then she left in 2016 to do Rip It Up and the other show that she did. And number 10 was, I think I just gave it away there, she couldn't compete in the 2013 series because um, she sustained an ankle injury and so Aliona Villani um, was called in to replace her. Unfortunately, she was voted out the first week with Tony Jacklin. And then she obviously came back, um, Natalie, to go with Tim. And Aliona, of course, stayed on the show. And she was with... Um, Aliona, sorry. Aliona was in the series a long time before that. And then she left. And then she obviously came back. And then she stayed on again for a couple more series. She was with... Um, Greg Wallace, who they got voted out in the first week, two years running. Then 2015, she was with what's his face, um, Jay McGuinness, and then obviously she got voted out. Um, so yeah. So anyway, that's the facts. I expect you knew all of the movie. Um, <laughs> well, um, I did try there. You have to admit, but let let me say they're better than my Shirley Balance facts. One of my Shirley Balance facts, and believe me, Shirley Balance is my idol. I actually said of one of her facts, she's the Queen of Latin. Like, no shit, Sherlock. Obviously, she's the Queen of Latin. 
but really I, I honestly didn't know. I, I think the one that I could probably say the most facts about is Craig because I've read his autobiography and Bruno as well, so I've read his autobiography as well, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you soon with more videos. Bye!